Howdy, I'm Mikey Diaz. One week down, five to go. Last Friday, Puxitani Phil did indeed see his shadow. The famous groundhog determines that there will indeed be six more weeks of winter. Pretty cool. In other news, The Olympic Games begun last night, but the official opening ceremony is happening right now. Don't worry though, you can still catch the festivities on NBC later tonight at 8pm. Curling and ski jumping events started yesterday, but the ceremony welcoming in athletes from 92 nations, including North Korea, is being broadcasted tonight. Athletes and fans are being provided heated parkas and blankets for what is believed to be the coldest Olympic Games in decades. Temperature related records might not be the only records broken this year. More than 3 billion people watched at least one event from the last Olympic Games, but there is concern that viewership might be down, with a large fan base originating from North America. The Olympics place internationally celebrated athletes on the world's most competitive stage, but do student athletes still care about this paramount sporting event? There's um, a lot of relevance. I think it's a way for countries to have friendly competition with one another. I think it's a way for people to come together and focus on sports and athleticism and team spirit, um, the entertainment of the Olympics. I think it's nice for athletes to have goals and for some of those athletes when they are at the upper echelon of their sport or activity eyeing that Olympic race is a goal for a lot of athletes and I think especially um, for girls and women um, it's a really great way for them to you know again work toward that goal and feel equal to the competition that men have always been a part of. I'm really excited about it. I think it's really fun to watch athletes from other um, countries. I think it's great to support our team. Go Team USA, yeah! And the times of the matchups aren't ideal either. There is a 14 hour difference between us and South Korea, so many events will be taking place extremely early in the morning for us. I took to the halls at NHS to ask if students will be watching the Olympics. Will you be watching the Olympics this year? Of course. Yep. Probably not. Yeah, most of it wasn't planning on it. A final concern is that of North Korea. Some North Korean athletes have gotten the green light to compete. Some for instance will be playing for United Koreans women's ice hockey team, which features players from both countries. This means North Korean diplomats will also be present. United States Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said, quote, we'll just have to see what happens, end quote, when asked if U.S. delegates would meet with them. Vice President Pence will be on his tour of Asia during the games. The White House announced he is there to ensure North Korea doesn't hijack the games. The entire day-to-day -day schedule can be found on NBCOlympics.com. Check it out so you can set your DVR for your favorite events. Thanks for watching. I'm Mikey Diaz, and this was In Other News.